Hmm. What's going on everybody, this is Delmar and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited to show you a new product that I've been wanting to show you in the channel. So gladly I got it. I went to AWE and met some really amazing individuals, which one of them is Jerry from Till 5. So I'm about to show you the device. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. All right, this is going to be super, super amazing. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, and this is the special edition for Teal 5. Let's, oh my gosh, I don't even want to mess with that because it looks just way too beautiful. Let's go ahead and put that over there. And this is a Teal 5, this is the special edition. Uh, I think the, the colors and the drawings that they pick just reminds me of when I was, you know, really starting to do development for games. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna try to be as careful as I can. And you guys can see here, it has the steps to be able to get the glasses ready. So you gotta open the game board, we can plug in the glasses and also download and launch the game. So let's go ahead and see what we have. And the game board is pretty large. This is one of the ones that, that they ship. There's also one that I got from them, which is a lot smaller. It's better for if you want to do, you know, game streaming, then this is gonna be the one that it's going to be about 31 inches by 31 inches. I think it's about the size of the table that I have right here. This is a lot larger and I'll put the specs of this game board. So what are we having here? Well, we have some really cool glasses and Let's go ahead and take a look. The glasses are really cool. They're made out of silicone. I think it's bio, so it uses good materials. Also pretty, pretty light. There's going to be two different stereo uh, speakers, one of each on each side. They're, the technology they're using is really cool because there are two different projectors on this device and there's also different cameras in here. So there's a, a head tracking camera that allows you to basically connect to the one and, and know where the game board is going to be. And there's also what they call a TT camera, which is a tangible tracking. It basically has computer vision uh, technology in it. So let's go ahead and get going and look at the glasses in here. I'll just get some of these stickers out and put them right here. And let's see what we got in here. These look really, really amazing. So let me see if I can put them on. And with the hat, I think it fits, they fit pretty well. So the other thing that we have in here, it's going to be what they call the, well, what they call the controller. It is the controller. But the cool thing with this controller, and, and I read some of the articles that they've been posting, is a lot of people think that this is gonna be a barbecue lighter. And I am a barbecue person, so it does look like a bar barbecue lighter, but obviously it has a lot of cool technology. So the way that it works is you have some games that you can use them like this. It also has another another direction. So if you want to use this with a classic controller, then you can use that. I think you got you got to use it this way. So it just reminds me of the classic controller. So you have the buttons here, this, uh, and then basically you can do a movement with this, and then two different buttons. This controller has a uh, six uh, degrees of motion, which is really cool because not only is going to track the rotation, it also tracks position. So if we get closer then we're going to be tracking the position. There's also been a calculations on the on this where it's tracking all that information in 3D space. So as you're playing and moving around, then it's aware of the 3D space, which therefore you know gets sent to the game engine that you're currently using. So this is the game one. And then we have a couple of cool things here. So if we look at here, there's a USB-C cable. There's really no battery on this device. The device connects to the house and that's how the device is getting the power. So if we look at the controllers, they use the classic AA batteries. So there's, you know, two battery slots that you can use and you can just basically close this. I'll just put the controller right here and then USB-C cable. The next thing that I need to do is I need to set up that gaming area. This is where I'm going to be doing prototypes and this game board is about 31 inches by 31 inches, which is about the size of the table that I currently have. Once you have everything set up, you're ready to connect the controller. We're gonna be connecting the controller via Bluetooth. 
Then once you get it set up, we can go into teal5.com and then developers. In the developer portal, you can download the drivers and also the SDK. If you want to know more about development with Teal5, make sure that you watch my future videos where I'm going to be showing you how to set it up with Unity and how we can start porting some of our games to Teal5. Thank you very much, guys.